Hi YouTubers, it's George. I'm in the garage, just um, experimenting with a few things, and um, I've been trying to get my head round FT8, a digital mode that's used by radio amateurs on the shortwave bands, etc. And I thought, well, I've got an old phone. It's an old Android phone, Samsung Android phone, which is outdated and one thing or another and uh, I've upgraded so this is spare and I've removed all the apps on it and I put FT8 on it and I've switched off the internet and one thing or another so it's just a surplus phone so that'll act as a, a display to showing FT8 and then I've got one of these low cost SDR transceivers which I'm hoping to use and um, it does seem to receive FT8 and it's got a three and a half mil socket here which is also the microphone as also the speaker in the speaker microphone and then I've got my home brew a homemade uh, magnetic loop aerial which is made from car brake pipe this um, copper alloy brake pipe I think the white pole is an old curtain rail I've got a two, two variable capacitors here a high value one I think it's about 300 and a low value one which is 50 peak farad and the small ones in parallel and I say this is either a curtain pole or a towel rail and the brake pipe a couple of hose clamps here holding it on and this is a selfie stick lighting tripod and I've got those so I've got most of the bits and pieces but I need to actually make an interface from the phone to the transceiver the software or the app will work without connecting on receive it just listens it's got a mic uses a microphone in the phone to listen to the speaker here but I'm going to actually wire it in so that the microphone and the speakers go to this and um, yeah and I've come up with an idea of design for the circuit uh, for the interface which I've started and I'm trying to do this a very low cost so um, as I've got these bits already and I'm going to use this I bought these many years ago and I've actually got two of these radios and so I've got an aerial and I've got an old phone so it's just a matter of set, sorting out an interface between the two or some form of matching cable now then one of the first jobs I've got to do or have done is to work out the electrical connections coming out of the phone on the 3.5 millimeter four pole uh, plug and uh, so this is the um, connections for the um, socket on the phone and this is the plug and um, I'll actually upload a photo of this so if, if you can't see it in the video but back basically the one nearest the tip is either the left or right channel for the earpiece the second ring in is the other output to the earpiece the third one in is the ground or the common the electrical ground and the one nearest the plastic bit of the plug D is the microphone so there's four connections going to the phone on this plug now because um, the earpieces are like little loud speakers they need to be loaded with a 30 ohm resistor 
Okay, and I've worked that out, and um, I shall do that in more detail in the next bit. Right, so, and this is for transmit I'm working on at the moment. So, for transmit, okay, so from the phone here, you're using three connections using the earpiece left and right and ground now because the impedance of the earpieces is 30 ohms like a small ohm speaker the nearest value i could find is 22 ohms so in this circuit diagram i'm connecting from the left earpiece to ground 22 ohms and from the right earpiece 22 ohms so that loads the phone and it, it tells the phone that there is an earpiece the earpieces are plugged in with this plug okay and they go to ground two resistors but then I need to isolate any voltages that might be coming out of the phone so for that I've put a capacitor on each line a 0.47 microfarad capacitor and that stops any um, electrical voltage coming out of the phone into the radio now because this is low impedance here and the microphone on the radio is high impedance and the signal is too great coming out of for the earpieces is too great for the microphone input of the transceiver so what I've got there I've got what's called a potential divider so I've got a 47 kilo ohm resistor in series with the wire that goes to the microphone socket on the transceiver and I've got a 220 ohms from that point there to ground so it reduces the level of audio coming out of the phone into the microphone socket for the transceiver and I'll put a, a picture of this circuit diagram up as well into the video So that's that sorted as far as I know. Um, yeah, in terms of the circuit diagram for the transmit. So this is from the phone, three connections for the transmit, left and right audio to the earpieces and ground, attenuated so that there's no, um, the signal's not too great. But remember, the phone volume can be altered to change the level of audio coming to the microphone. The next thing I had to do was to work out the electrical connections of the socket and plug that go into the radio. And because it contains the PTT and one thing or another. And these are the electrical connections for the SDR radio. Pin 1, microphone, pin 2, speaker, pin 3, PTT, number 4, ground. That wasn't too bad to, to work out. I just took the microphone apart and tested the wires. So I'll have to work out how to do the interface for the receive part. And this is purely to do with the audio coming from the radio into the phone. Right. Now similar, the audio out from the radio um, on the that particular 3.5 4-pole socket 
is looking for an 8 ohm load so I was found a resistor or a couple of resistors to make up the value of near as I could to 8 ohm so I made it to 10 ohm so this is loading the audio amplifier in the receive part of the radio okay now because uh, the audio for the speaker is would possibly overload the microphone input to the phone I've put a 1k resistor in series and a 1k to ground and that acts as a potential divider so it halves the audio level coming out and then that's followed by a capacitor which is 0.47 microfarad so the ground connection on pin 4 on this plug on the other plug it's letter C so I've marked this D and C to coincide with that and I shall do a, a still photo of this so that I can add to the video and hopefully that will also make sense and then it'll be a matter of testing this and that will be in part two of this video